Hey, it's me, Karen the Journey Girl, coming to you from back of the beyond here in Ferry County, Washington. And it is a dreary, rainy day today, a little bit on the cool side. Perfect day for making a pasta dish. Pasta is comfort food, pure, simple comfort food. And I love anything Italian, especially pasta. So we're going to be making a rigatoni dish using some San Marzano tomatoes. And if you're not familiar with San Marzano's, I'll, let me tell you, we grow our own tomatoes and we can our own tomatoes and they are perfect for chilies and soups and stews and even making stewed tomatoes. But the San Marzano's are a product unto their own. They're from Italy. They're grown in the San Marzano region of Italy. They are a very meaty tomato. Uh, lots of pulp, uh, very few seeds. They have a very sweet flavor and they're perfect to use in pasta dishes. So to get started, I've got two tablespoons of olive oil in my frying pan here. And to that, I am going to be cutting up one large onion. Doesn't have to be real thinly sliced. I'm going to cut that in half. Throw this into the pan. And put some more onion in. This is more of a rustic kind of dish where you're going to have nice chunks of vegetables and onion. So I have a yellow squash that I've cut in half and it's a nice, it's a small squash. You don't want the big ones because you have seeds in them and the seeds are not terribly, you know, good to eat. I mean, they're edible, but it's not something that you want in your dish. So not, again, not thin slices. You want some nice chunks so it's got some body to it. And the same thing with this zucchini. It's a small zucchini. I've cut it in half. I'm going to slice it again. Some nice chunks. to get all this prep work done and this is going in my frying pan I'm going to cook this just until it gets nah, a little bit tender and the onions are nice and soft and also to this I have one large clove of garlic I'm going to finally mince up I'm going to get this all started on the stove top and then I'm going to finish it in the oven it's going to be covered with all kinds of ooey gooey cheeses so it gets a nice crispy crunch on on the top I'm using rigatoni today and that is bubbling away on the stove over there. And it goes. All right. Now with the San Marzanos, I'm going to take these, pour it into my bowl here. Oh, isn't that, oh, they're beautiful. Uh, I want to rinse this out. I don't want to waste one bit of drop of this great sauce that's in here. So I got about mm, a quarter of the can in here. I'll pour that in. All right, now look at this. Look at this tomato. We got to get our hands in there and hand crush them. Well, it's just like a kid playing with Play-Doh or something. Like I said, cooking should be fun. This is, <laughs> this is great. Oh, they, they smell wonderful. They look wonderful. Like I said, very few seeds. Lots of thick, rich pulp. All right. 
Now I'm going to take this over to the stove and cook my vegetables and then we'll be back in a minute. Hi, okay, so I'm back. I've been cooking the vegetables. It's onions, garlic, yellow squash, and zucchini. I sauteed them in olive oil for about 10 minutes. And they have a gorgeous color and a wonderful aroma. So now I'm going to add to that a teaspoon of dry basil. And about a half a teaspoon of oregano. Oregano is pretty strong, so I don't want to go overboard with the oregano. I cooked my rigatonis just to the al dente stage because this is going back in. This is going into the oven for about 30 minutes. All right. Oh, that looks wonderful. Ooh, I love basil. Basil is one of my very favorite herbs. So now I'm going to stir in the San Marzano tomatoes. And I'm almost guaranteed to make a mess because anytime I'm cooking with tomatoes and I end up wearing a white shirt, I end up wearing the tomatoes too. Oh, just this, the aroma is wonderful. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just add my rigatonis, which of course I didn't bring over my my big spoon, so I'm going to use this one. There we go. I'm going to give this a nice stir. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Get it all well combined. Okay. And this is going into my casserole dish that I have sitting here. And I'm not sure if all of this is going to fit. We're going to find out. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grip my big scoop here. This is something that's going to be so absolutely delicious. Kids, young and old, love pasta. And this is actually perfect for a meatless Monday meal. No meat in it. Just lots of yummy vegetables. I think I should have used the bigger pan. But that's okay because I was actually going to cook all of this and then take a good portion of it up to my neighbors for their dinner. And now I'll just put, put uh, what I was going to take into a small casserole for them and take it up. They'll be happy. I'll be happy. Well, I'll be happy. All right, so now to top this off, I have braided. Let's get this over here. I have about two cups of mozzarella. It was fresh mozzarella that I grated up. And you, you can bury the cheese any way you want. Um, I was going to use a nice fontina, but I only had a small piece left, so I can't use that. But the mozzarella is going to go over the top very generously. There we go. Now on top of the, of the mozzarella, I have about a cup, 
maybe a little more, of grated Asiago. Asiago is also a dry cheese, um, very pungent. Uh, you can use a Parmesan cheese. Um, we can use Romano, but I thought today I'm going to use this Asiago. And we'll just put that all over the top. Just think how delicious this is going to be. Nice and crispy on the top. There we go. All right. This goes in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. All right, I bake this for 30 minutes at 400 degrees till the top is really nice and crisp and brown. All that cheese, oh, let's look how wonderful that looks. And this is the smaller one that I'm taking up to my neighbors after it cools off a little bit. I think that one looks absolutely fabulous too. And earlier today, I made some bread. This is King Arthur flour hearth bread, and it's going to go perfectly with this. So now, I think I have to maybe dig in and taste a little bit of this. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. look at this. Oozing. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my, my, my. Oh, doesn't that look absolutely wonderful? Also looks very, very hot. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a try here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so simple, so easy, so delicious, inexpensive, feeds a crowd. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, for this and other recipes, please go to www.journeygirl.com. Visit my YouTube channel. You know how to hit that subscribe button. Share it with your friends. And until next time, journey on.